Good morning, everyone. It's Steve Calf, 5 JUF. Hope everyone had a good evening out there. So what I'm working on now is I am preparing a series of uh, tutorial videos on HRD. Uh, the main purpose of this is, is for me to continue to work my, uh, my skills with doing videos and training and so forth. Uh, I do a lot of training at work, so this is something I'm just trying to trying to refine my skills if you will so anyway uh, with that said we'll go ahead and get started uh, this series of videos I'm I'll be doing is on HRD and they're going to be very short simple videos essentially just going through and doing some very quick steps uh, the, I'm, I'm thinking I'm learning the videos the shorter ones are actually better uh, because people are very very focused on what they what they're looking for so uh, a lot of extra information may be not needed so my plan is to start making shorter videos and just kind of see how that works uh, so with that uh, this is the HRD uh, again this, this program has been working great uh, HRD helped me fix it uh, I guess last Monday or yeah this past Monday they helped me fix an issue with it and it's been running great so what I wanted to cover real quick, the topics today are, is I wanted to show you how to change the time. Uh, most operators that work in uh, HF will use what's called UTC, Universal, Universal Coordinated Time, which is essentially Zulu time, which is the uh, international dateline. But on the HRD, uh, you actually have the clock, you have the clock shown over here and the clock is in local time and then you have the date and time so it's very simple uh, what you'll do is hover your mouse right over the clock and click and then you'll get this box right here so all you have to do is change it from local time to GMT or UTC time universal coordinated time so watch what happens now we have the UTC which is 12 in the afternoon and when I click that it updates now we're working on universal coordinated time same thing with the date if you want to change the date if you want to uh, make some changes and so forth you can um, there's uh, there's also what they call an ISO time standard or date standard if you click on ISO uh, watch what happens here now we're actually in the ISO uh, short and then of course you have the long which is uh, that also right there so anyway, this is how you change it. Uh, change it from local time to UTC time. Very, very straightforward. Uh, very, very good. So the next thing I want to show you is there's a button over here. There's two very. There's two buttons, and the first button here is called. This is called the wheel step. And what the wheel step does is, this actually controls how fast the uh, the frequency wheel moves. So for example, if I click this here, let me show you what it's doing right now. So right up here. If I just roll the mouse anywhere down here, you see how it's advancing 50 kilohertz, or 50 hertz actually, 50 hertz. See how it's advancing 350, 450? So if I come over here to this little wheel and click this, and I change this to 100 hertz, watch what happens. Remember it was changing every 50 increments here? If I change this to 100, watch what happens. Now we're counting every hundred. See, 100 hertz, 900 hertz. Uh, you have to have your wheel down here. 900 hertz, 100 hertz. To see how it's advancing, and if I move it back to 20 hertz, see how it's moving 20, 40. So that's called the wheel step advance. So I usually leave it at 50. And the other one I want to show you is the band spread or this is what's called the the wide range so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zero in on 4800 just for purposes of showing this so 28400 is my center frequency 28395 is my frequency left on this meter here on this uh, slide rule 28405 now watch this that's actually 10 kilohertz so if you count now if I change this to uh, let's say 100 kilohertz what's going to happen now is instead of this range being 10 kilohertz all the way this way one one direction all the way one direction and all the way the other direction this is 10 kilohertz right now where I'm moving this but if I actually let me bring that back in right there there we go so if I actually change this to one kilohertz 
Now, you see what happened? Now we just basically, this is just one, make sure I got this scaling right there. Yeah, well this is just one kilohertz across, so see how that works? There should be 500 right there, so that's one kilohertz. So that, that gives you some very, very good resolution in here if you want it. Uh, for example, if you just want to look at a very, very narrow, narrow, narrow uh, band pass, this is, would be a very useful tool. So I'm going to go ahead and set it back to, uh, I like it at 10 kilohertz. And the last thing I'll show you is you can just go ahead, I'm going to bring these back in here real quick. And... Now we're here. So just on a kind of a quick summary, we have the wide range, which is, I've got this, this is the range from here all the way to here. Then it's got it set to 10 kilohertz band pass right here. Now the other one I'll show you real quick again is the wheel step. The wheel step, when you have the mouse in this area here, watch, this is going to advance to 50. 50, 100, 150 and so forth so anyway those are the two steps i wanted to show you so i'll go ahead and wrap up and uh again this is a a new series i'm going to try uh to promote to at least help me learn hrd help you learn hrd and we'll have some fun together so again have a good day uh, i'll probably generate some more videos so uh again thanks from kf5juf thanks for watching